Strand B relates to problem solving, number operations, and in many ways it builds the connection between the earlier strand on counting and cardinality to much later mathematical concepts such as algebra and arithmetic. For young children, number operations or the ability to manipulate numbers can be a complex skill. It requires recognizing groups and understanding that numbers can be combined or taken apart. This is a gradual process and requires varied experiences and adult support. Young children, toddlers, demonstrate their ability to problem solve with numbers when they ask for more, when they are able to determine who has more or realize if they gave a bit to someone else, they would have less. These are beginning abilities in number operations. As children get older, they realize that adding one more piece to a group increases the total quantity by one. But if you put one in the middle, that makes five. They start to use this ability in their day-to-day -day routines during play, when, for instance, if they're playing a board game, they realize that, hey, I wrote one more than you. I'm going to go further in the board game than you did. So they start to make these connections. I got six. You get one, two. These things which are very perceptual, tactile, game-oriented, makes them start to recognize groups. And they realize that if I were to add a group of two, to three, I get five. Originally, children count the whole set of quantity, but gradually they start to see the numbers have subgroups within them, and that these subgroups can be combined. What about we put these ones together and then they will make a, a different number? We want that to come naturally from their experiences and from their interactions with the environment. How many friends are at home? Three! And Jared will come back, so then that leaves how many friends at home? Two. Two. Adults can support children's development of this skill throughout the day. Daily routines provide opportunities to combine numbers in meaningful ways. V, five and three make A. Five and three make A. Five and three make A. Eight friends at school, let's count the boys. One. While children are playing, adults can use math talk to describe their actions. Two poles and one more pole. That would be two poles, and then you can get another one. And we'll have three poles when you get Adults can provide concrete objects and prompt children to add and subtract small numbers. Very good. She took three away and left two. Number operations are an important aspect of problem solving. When children are determining if they have enough, who won in a dice game, or how many children in their class want to do one activity versus another. They're going to be counting, determining the quantity, and they're engaging in a variety of problem-solving exercises. 